Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the new smart MIDI import in Dorico 4. Importing MIDI can be an essential part of a notation workflow, especially when a composer or arranger has been working in a DAW such as Cubase to produce an audio mock-up of their music. However, such MIDI files can become extremely large and complex, and importing it into any notation software can be a cumbersome task, sifting through tracks to understand their structure and what they represent musically. Dorico 4 now streamlines that process by way of a new intelligent MIDI import workflow that gives you maximum control over the ways your MIDI files are imported, clever ways of interpreting MIDI tracks to better align with performing instruments, and a memory system that recalls settings you used previously, all in service of reducing the time spent converting a complex MIDI file to notation that can be played by a live ensemble. When you choose to import a MIDI file, this new dialog is shown that gives an overview of the MIDI file and all of its tracks. You can filter the tracks, perhaps by instrument or family, to make it easier working through long lists. Use the checkbox to choose not to import certain tracks, perhaps because they do not contain notes or are actually duplicate tracks that were maybe included to make the mock-up play with a richer texture. Specify single or section players by double-clicking the icon so that players are set up correctly. Dorico uses its semantic knowledge to interpret the MIDI tracks and identify the intended instruments. Dorico will look at the track names, but you can also check the Interpret as General MIDI option to use any program changes at the start of the tracks to help with this. If any of these need to be changed, double-click and use the picker to choose the correct instrument. If a track is for a specific instrument articulation or technique, then this can be specified here as well, and Dorico will look out for hints in the file to set this itself. The destination instrument corresponds to the Dorico player and instrument that the track will import into, which you have control over, so you can easily import more than one MIDI track into the same Dorico instrument. When the option to use track memory is checked, Dorico will remember any changes you make when importing MIDI data and apply them to similar situations in the future. Let me show you a couple of examples. In this Cubase project, I have three tracks that all represent a violin section with the different tracks set up for legato playing, pizzicato and muted consort. Now I've exported the project as a MIDI file and can now import that file into Dorico. You can see the three tracks here named as per the Cubase project. Dorico has correctly identified them all as violins and has also worked out that the second track is to be Pitts and the third Consort. Because actually these are all to be played by the same violin section, we can set the destination instruments all to the same violin one. When I press OK, Dorico goes ahead and imports the file into a new Dorico project, merging the three tracks down to one violin player with the required switches to pizzicato, back to arco, and also the consort. These are converted to Dorico playing techniques, so playback is automatically correctly configured as well. Dorico has even noticed that some of the notes in the legato track were overlapping and has conveniently added slurs as necessary. In this second example, my Cubase project has one track that I'm using for a four-part horn section, and I'm using a sound library patch that is designed to sound like multiple players, which is something you will find and use quite often with these sorts of orchestral libraries. When we come to import that as a MIDI file into Dorico, you can see that it has been correctly identified as being music for four horns. And when I press OK, the chords are correctly split out into their respective players. No additional work required by me here. There are options that can be found in the Import dialog that control whether Dorico should automatically detect notations such as slurs, 
tremolos and trills, how to handle detected key switches, and to set quantize options. You may have noticed a toggle near the top of the dialog for using the basic or advanced editor. The basic editor allows you to quickly load any MIDI file that is perhaps not too complex or that doesn't require much tailoring before importing into Dorico, and many MIDI files will fit this model. However, there will be cases, especially in larger, more complex mockups, where you need more fine grain control over how the import is handled, and that's where the advanced editor comes into play. Two new sections are now visible one that lets you make many track setting adjustments, and another for allocating tracks to Dorico players. When you select a MIDI track in the table, the track setting section lets you specify exactly what and how many instruments that track represents. For example, a strings track might want to be imported into a full string section with the violins, viola, cellos, and bass. There are settings for transpositions, the full set of playing techniques and articulations, and options to set things like a percussion map for percussion instruments and how multi-voice instruments should be handled. The Players in Dorico Project section shows all existing players in the project and any new players that will be created as a result of the import. Clicking a different player will assign all relevant music to that player. Only players of the same type, so single or section players, and with matching instruments, can be assigned. So you cannot assign a horn track to a flute player, for example. You can also add a new player if more are required. Again, it's perhaps easier to see with specific examples. Here, I have two MIDI tracks, both for a string section, a track for bowed playing, and another for pits. Dorico is thinking about assigning these to one of our new sketch instruments for a string section. This could be what you like, especially if the music has been input with a keyboard and really needs arranging specifically for a string section. However, for this example, I'd like to show you how to split it out into individual string instruments. So with the first track selected, I will change the strings instrument to a violin, then duplicate that to get a second violin and also add a viola, a cello, and a double bass. I will then go through the same procedure for the second track to tell Dorico that I would like a similar set of instruments. Now, with the Use Track Memory option checked, Dorico will remember this is what I mean for tracks with these names and give me this set of destination instruments automatically next time. By default, Dorico will assume this music is for a complete set of different players to that for the first track, and so we now have a longer list of instruments than we need to be created in the project. All I need to do is select each of the instruments in the second MIDI track in turn and assign them to the right player. This first violin wants to be part of violin one, this one's violin two, and then we just want one viola, cello, and one bass. And when I click OK, the music is imported into a project with one complete string section, and the pits track has been merged into it seamlessly. One last example, this Cubase project is using the sample patches for four horns, as we saw earlier, and the tracks are named as such. However, the music actually is written for just three horns. Two tracks, one for long notes, one for shorter notes. Of course, because of those track names, Dorico is going to want to create four horns for each track. We can check the maximum number of simultaneous notes here is three, and so for each of these horn tracks, we can reduce the number of destination instruments to three. Then it's a matter of syncing the instruments and players, so we import onto just three horns in total. Press OK, and there you go. Finally, it's worth mentioning that we've added features to assist when it comes to re-importing MIDI into an existing project. Perhaps you've received a new version of a queue or mock-up that you need to fold into your project. You can choose to import the music into a new flow or one of your existing flows, and whether or not to reuse existing players. 
think carefully whether or not to overwrite all track contents when importing over existing music, or simply to add to it where there was previously no music, catering for cases where the whole track might need updating, or there is just a portion at the end that you want to add, and so on. It can also be useful when re-importing into an existing flow to disable a number of the tracks in order to preserve any unchanged music in the Dorico project. If you've enjoyed this video, and goodness, I hope you have, please consider giving it a thumbs up below to let me know, and subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.